The Schoolock Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community answers questions on everybody's mind right now politically. But I decided to go ahead and explore this scenario that if Trump don't leave, you know, he probably don't have no plans to, you know, get stimulus or not. You know, you don't know what he's tweeting this and that every day. You know, we not partisan. You know, we with him if he giving stimulus we you know we not with them if he not giving stimulus i mean that's basically what you know this channel is about but anyway we not partisan whoever gives stimulus go ahead and give stimulus that's the, but let's just explore this idea i'm gonna pass it to my homeboy james james go ahead and take this away the school lock stimulus lighthouse alert community presents what may happen if trump loses and declines to leave office before the election this is what we were saying with days left till november 3rd Surveys recommend that President Donald Trump might lose the election to Joe Biden. The previous vice president is leading Trump by nine points. Biden has continued to outmatch Trump in donors and fundraising in key battlefield states. More than 80 million citizens have already cast early or mail-in votes, with states that report celebration affiliation showing the bulk to be signed up Democrats. Trump has joked about running away the country must he lose to Biden, but his previous declarations and existing actions state otherwise. Just as Trump's former lawyer Michael Cohen affirmed in 2019, Trump has declined to dedicate to a peaceful transfer of power and has actually even urged his Project Rally participants to chant 12 more years. Along with filing suits in multiple states questioning protocols around mail-in ballots, he's most just recently signed an executive order that could enable him to end non-political members of the civil service including non-partisan professionals like researchers and doctors while protecting the positions of political appointees, therefore potentially undermining the authority of the next president. Trump is neither prepared to lose nor make great about it. Must Trump fail to yield? Here are three potential methods things might go. A long legal fight. Throughout America's history, there have been five instances of contested presidential elections. During the 1824 race, Andrew Jackson won the plurality of both the popular and electoral vote, but the House of Representatives picked John Quincy Adams as victor. In 1876, Samuel J. Tilden bested Rutherford B. Hayes in the popular vote and got 184 electoral votes, compared to Hayes 165. Following a legal and political fight, Hayes declared both the disputed votes in the White House. In both the 1888, Grover Cleveland v. Benjamin Harrison, and 2000, George W. Bush v. Al Gore, races, the ultimately elected president lost the popular vote but won the electoral college vote. In the 2000 race specifically, a conservative-leaning SCOTUS reversed Florida's Supreme Court request for a manual recount in the wake of Florida's ballot debate, and effectively granted Florida's 25 electoral votes to Bush. When it comes to the 2016 race between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, Clinton won the popular vote, while Trump won the electoral college vote. In spite of require a recount due to installing evidence of foreign interference, Clinton conceded. Even after Trump's win, he repeatedly claimed voter scams. In 2020's extremely contentious election, it is Trump's very same unrelenting claims, along with an ailing postal service and an unmatched number of casted absentees slash mail-in tallies, that threaten a constitutional crisis. Unless there is a landslide Biden triumph, Trump can, and will likely continue to legally challenge the election's integrity in the hopes of landing in the Supreme Court and getting an outcome comparable to Bush v. Gore. Trump might likewise state outright victory prior to count conclusion and persuade states with Republican-controlled legislatures to appoint his patriots as electors people who send the electoral votes. Biden and the Democratic celebration have actually pledged to combat such a scenario with their own army of attorneys and legal maneuvers therefore guaranteeing a long, drawn-out, and awful legal battle. In either case, the very best and possibly only way to keep such a crisis from unfolding is to have an irrefutable Biden win by a wide, decisive margin. The Insurrection Act could be conjured up. Even in case of a clear Biden win, Trump still has a huge reward not to accept such a result. Without the security of the Oval Office, which, according to the Justice Department, prevents charging a sitting president with a criminal offense, Trump faces potential prosecutions for tax fraud, bank and insurance fraud, bribery, and blockage of justice. Trump continues to threaten the work of active duty soldiers to quell civil liberties protests following the deaths of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor. Trump has likewise assured to deploy police to monitor polling sites. He has likewise offered to prevent election night riots, in case of his triumph, with the military, however absolutely nothing is avoiding Trump from using armed forces should he lose. To be clear, no president has exclusive authority to command military forces for domestic law enforcement factors. 
Such actions would constitute tyranny and, the Posse Comitatus Act supplies criminal charges for anyone who would use American militaries to manage civilian habits unless such an action was expressly authorized by the Constitution or Act of Congress. That Act of Congress is called the Insurrection Act, and Trump discussed that he would use the military particularly under the auspices of this guideline. According to the Supreme Court, the Insurrection Act can be conjured up if the President decides that a domestic emergency warrants military action. SCOTUS supposed that such a decision be based on the anticipation that the President remain in possession of high qualities of public virtue, and sincere commitment to the general public interests, which elections and the watchfulness of the agents of the nation would direct any President who lacked such high qualities. Utilizing the Insurrection Act to eliminate the balance and check on its very usage is quite honestly a hit and a half for that ass. Nonetheless, local and state jurisdictions can send any invocation of the Insurrection Act for judicial review. However Trump has actually proven to be rather the chess gamer as he has actually selected almost 25% of all active federal judges in the United States and more federal appeals court judges than any other current president during this very same duration in their particular terms. Such an use of the Insurrection Act to effect an election breaks lots of constitutional concepts consisting of the faithful execution provision. Yet considering how Trump and his GOP enablers have actually mostly reworded governmental guidelines to fit their political objectives and goals, it's questionable whether such an offense would be dropped in his allies. Need to Trump effort this move, the bright side is that the US armed force will not be a participating partner. For the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, all American armed forces will abide by the Constitution of the United States and leave any election conflicts to the courts and Congress. Trump could usurp the presidency, Trump may not have the support of the U.S. military, but that won't always prevent him from utilizing a military to stay in power. On June 1, U.S. Govs and National Guard leaders got a call from the Pentagon asking for the thousands of person soldiers be airlifted to Washington, D.C., to perform crowd control during the George Floyd demonstrations. Most Democratic-led states declined in shock, while numerous Republican-led states eagerly reacted by sending 98% of the total 3,800 troops who appeared. The thought of a sitting president summoning a private militia to preserve his power appears beyond the pale. But the sitting president in question is Donald Trump. And when one thinks about the numerous Trump lovers and conservative militias that actively align with US law enforcement, have a reputation for prompting violence, and hold severe apprehension for state forces, this scenario becomes a possibility. Proud boys stand back and wait, Trump declared during the very first governmental dispute when asked to denounce white supremacy. There will not be a transfer, frankly. There will be a continuation, Trump responded throughout a press instruction when asked if he would dedicate to a serene transfer of power. However, as Biden stated throughout that unfortunate first dispute, Trump has no idea what he's discussing. The reality is, I will accept it and he will, too. You understand why? Since once the winner is stated after all the tallies are counted, all the votes are counted, that will be the end of it. Do not forget that you can do your part by going to Complex's Pull Up and Vote website where you can double-check your registration, register to vote if you haven't, and demand a mail-in tally.